We have a fun little project today at Woodworking with Wes. We're going to build some birdhouses. This is one style we're going to build, but stick around. We have another one we're going to build. We're going to show you how we go through, show you the measurements, everything like that. Then we're going to take them out and see what they look like in the woods. When I was a kid, the reason I like to build birdhouses, when I was a kid, about 150 years ago when I was in junior high school, I had a, an eighth grade science teacher that made us do a list of identification of birds. We had to do it for a project and we got graded on it. My dad loved nature and so he would take me out for drives for this project, drive me through the country and point out all the birds and he could tell what kind of bird it was by what it looked like and, and how it flew and, and how it landed in trees. My dad was way cool when it came to that, and I learned a lot. And I've always liked bird watching ever since. And to have a little birdhouse in your backyard, what a fun thing to do, and what a fun time of year to have a project just like this. Let's get started. We're going to start with this little birdhouse. We're going to cut the ends first. The ends are out of three-quarter inch pine. The sides and the top are out of half inch pine, and we've milled some uh, pine left over from a project that I had. But let's get started. Our back and our front are five and a half inches wide by six inches tall. So I've milled a piece of wood five and a half inches wide and I've marked a center line down it so that we can make our cuts for our pitch roof. And we'll go over to the chop saw now and we'll make all of our cuts for our end on the chop saw. The ends of our birdhouse will be six inches high, five and a half inches wide, and I'm going to cut both of the ends at the same time so that I can make sure they're exactly the same. And the way I'm going to do that, I've marked six inches. I'm going to cut a little long. And then I'm going to stack them like this and cut on my six inch mark. And then both of my ends, because I'm flush here, will be exactly the same. Okay, now our little center line is going to come into play when we make our 45 degree pitch roof. And our, our angle that we cut our roof will be 45 and a 45 cut here. So we'll set our chop saw there. We want to make our cut line up with our center line. That's why we marked our center line. And I've made a little mark on my chop saw that tells me right where to put my board so that I know that my cut will end up on the center. And I'll make one cut, I'll flip it around and move up to my mark and make my other cut. So let's do all those cuts right now. There's our ends. Now we'll make the other cut. We're going to set our saw at 15 degrees and what we want to do is make a cut 15 degrees that will end up right at the corner of where we've already made our cut. Now, you can see I've already made a mark on my saw where to put my board and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to line up with the mark that we've put on our saw and make all of our cuts to that mark. There's our ends. Okay, we just drilled the hole for our little bird to go in. We used a 1 and 3 8 Forstner bit to make a nice little hole for the excess. The floor of our birdhouse is another piece of 3 quarter inch. We've put a 15 degree angle cut on both sides and we have cut it five and a half inches long. That will make our birdhouse seven inches total long. And we're gonna just nail it in right there, just like that. So that's, uh, it's just gonna be a quick face nail. We're going to use 18 gauge inch and a quarter nails. 
to nail this birdhouse together. Now, if you don't have a nail gun, this is easily done with just a hammer and some little brads. But I've been a cabinet maker for so long, I don't know if I know how to use a hammer anymore. There's one end. Just line up the ends of your front and back with the cuts that you've made on your bottom. We're starting to come. We've got the basic birdhouse nailed together. We're going to do the roof now. We're going to make it out of half inch pine. Our house measures seven inches. We're going to make our roof measure eight inches so that it has a little overhang on the front and a flush on the back. We have one side five inches, one side five and a half inches, and we're going to nail it together in a right angle just like that. So let's go cut those on the chop saw. Okay, we're going to nail our top together 45, uh, 45 degree like this and we're again we're using 18 gauge inch and a quarter nails. We're starting to come together. Now we're going to nail it flush. Let's go ahead and put the, the top on. We're going to nail it flush with the back. Sorry, I got my hands in the way there. Flush with the back, and we've got a one inch overhang, so our nails are going to have to be put in at one and three eighths. And I like to make a little mark, one and three eighths, so that my nail doesn't come shooting out the side of my board. Okay, starting to get like a birdhouse. Now, the sides are a little tricky because we have an angle on the bottom and an angle on the top. But remember, this was a 15 degree angle. This was a 45 degree angle. So, when we make our side board, we want to have 45 minus 15. So this angle right here is going to be a 30 degree angle. So let's go cut us a board. It's got a 30 degree angle. We're gonna use half inch material. We're gonna nail it in here like this, but we're gonna put a 30 degree angle cut on our edge first. In order to make a true angle, I had to hold down really good on the piece of wood. Um, I don't like to do that. I like to be able to use a push stick, but this time, because I had to have a true angle, I had to hang on good and tight. But you can see how my angle fits right underneath the roof of our little birdhouse. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to make a little mark right here. And that's going to be the other cut. And this is going to be a 15 degree cut. This one was a 30 degree cut. So let's go back, set our saw at 15 degrees and make our other cut. You can see how our little side fits in there with the 15 degree cut here and the 30 degree cut there makes the perfect little side and keeps our angles sharp. Let's go ahead now 
and cut two seven inch pieces out of this board, nail our sides on, and we're about done. We've uh, got our measurement at seven inches, and we're going to cut both pieces at once, just like we have in our other pieces, to make sure they're the same. And there's our little sides right there. Let's go nail them on. We're going to nail our sides on now, and again, using one and a quarter inch, 18 gauge nails. Two on each end, one in the bottom. We'll do the same thing on this side. You can see how that makes such a nice little side to our house. Looking pretty good. Now I want to make one comment about using a table saw. I want you to always remember to be safe using a table saw. Now I was putting my hand there holding down on uh, my piece of wood. Be at your angles when you're cutting angles like that you have to make sure it's held down tight. Um, get yourself a good push block to push your pieces through your saw. Um, it just makes for more safety. Um, I don't use one most of the time when I'm videoing because I want you to see what I'm doing and what I'm holding down and how I'm cutting but it's only for video purposes. Always, always, always be safe on the table saw. These need to stay the same length that they are when they come. Keep that in mind. Okay, there we have it. We're going to take a piece of sandpaper and go around and smooth up our edges. And it's ready. We can fill the holes. It'll be ready for a little paint job and to hang out in your backyard off of a tree or up against the uh, trunk of a tree. Perfect little nesting box for your backyard. Let's build the other one now. The next birdhouse that we're going to do is actually a nesting box that you could put permanently out in the woods or in your backyard, leave nailed to the tree or screwed to a tree. It's a very simple square nesting box. It'll have a lid on top of it so it can be cleaned out each year um, and ready for the next year's brood of birds. But it's a very simple box. It's square, has a little angle top on it. We've milled our wood to thickness and length, but let's go ahead and make a couple of cuts on the chop saw and put it together. This is a very simple little birdhouse that is great for those who want to be bird watchers. These are the side pieces to our nesting box. We're going to cut the top of them at a 15 degree angle so that when we put the little roof on it, the water will run off. So let's just make that cut right now and then we'll go over and start to assemble. This is the back of our nesting box. This is the part that will hang on the tree. These are our sides. This is 15 by 7 and a half. Our sides are 4 and 3 quarters by 12 and we're going to put them like this on our back and then this piece is going to go on the front and now we're going to make a little measurement here and cut our face piece with an angle that matches up to our sides. So let's make that cut next and we need to have that distance be 10 and 11 sixteenths 10 and 11 sixteenths long point with a 15 degree cut on our board. So let's measure ten and eleven sixteenths. I did say ten and eleven sixteenths. Measure twice, cut once. Okay, ten eleven sixteenths. Ten eleven sixteenths. Okay. 
Let's take this over to the chop saw and put our angle cut on it. Okay, because this is going to be a more permanent nesting box, I'm going to put some screws in here for more permanent application. We'll flip it over now and we'll put the back, attach the back piece with nails and screws just like we did the box. We're one or one and a half inches narrower, or six inches, seven and a half. So we're three quarters of an inch from each side, and we'll be flush to the bottom. So let's go flush with the bottom. Measure three quarters of an inch in. Keep that flush right there. We're going to give that one nail right there, and run up here and line it up. And we're going to make a mark here because we're three quarters of an inch. One and one eighth of an inch is going to be the center of our board on the front side. We're just going to give us a couple of one and an eighth inch lines here on the back side to line up our screws and our nails. So let's go ahead and finish making this flush across the bottom. Let's check our measurement here to one and a half, or one or three quarters of an inch right there. Same thing on this side, make sure we're three quarters of an inch, and we are. And now let's attach with some screws. Okay, our back, our side, our front, everything's all screwed together. This is our box, and that'll hang just like that. We're going to make a lid, drill a hole. We're going to use a 1 and 3 eighths hole on our Forstner bit again, but we're going to drill a little higher in this box. This box could actually be used by a woodpecker, because woodpeckers like a, their nest way deep, and so by putting the hole up high, if a woodpecker would like to make this a home, we're also not going to put a little rest here for our bird. A woodpecker and, and other kinds of birds don't have a little stand on there. They like to just grab onto the side and go into the hole. So we're going to make this kind of a wilderness nesting box. We're going to hang it to a tree like that. But let's go ahead and make the lid and get done. Ta-da!
Well, we've got our nest box hung on our tree. We're going to hang this one from a branch up higher, but then we're gonna have our birdhouses all installed, ready for the birds to find a place to nest. This has been a fun project and something that you can do for your own backyard, and we look forward to seeing you next time on Woodworking with Wes. Don't forget to subscribe.